when it comes to like actually if you're if you're from the outside looking in and you're just trying to get um an understanding about like all this disinformation actually um there's a recent report uh by new africa institute which we recently published um back on may 9th which goes through it's 72 pages has 300 references so you could just sit there and go through all the stuff that they've lied about the propaganda the narratives exactly how it works all the stuff you know we've been mentioning about like the details of how you know um, stuff is manufactured um, what they're you know all this information this disinformation is manufactured it's all in there and what they're trying to do again I just want to emphasize they want to take these countries to war because they represent resistance on the African continent and this is really the last bastion of resistance there and we all have to stand up and there has to be a sense of urgency so when you see something that seems like you know it's a you know uh, gang rape or sexual violence or you know massacre or whatever we can't just take it at face value because the thing is is that um, TPLF is manufacturing this stuff but again they only represent six percent of the population there but not even that six percent they represent an elite group a lot of them are these activists are here in the diaspora that actually used uh, we, we don't have time to go into this but just they've used migration as this policy to basically uh, we're using Eritrean identity and an Eritrean name to bring a lot of these activists from there to here to then use them to then attack uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia and so we have to be very cognizant of the fact that when you're talking to somebody here and they say, hey, get behind this genocide that's going on, you have to understand that it's not, you have to be very critical. You have to have a very critical eye when you receive this information. And I know there's some people who go out, you know, I'm not going to mention names, but certain celebrities who have caught on to some things and then kind of pulled back afterwards, feeling a little bit like, oh, my God, like, who was I talking to? Because mm -hmm. tribalism is a very serious problem in Africa, and it is a sickness that ex exists in Ethiopia because of the almost thir three decades of a system called ethnic federalism. What's that? Uh, so basically, if you could just imagine in California, if here and if we were to apply it in America, imagine you said that California is Asia land, um, Texas is Mexico land, Mississippi is black land, um, you know, Nebraska is white land or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you just go down the list. Obviously, that's going to lead to tensions. You're going to what are you going to do? You're going to do three things. You're going to argue over borders and territories. Mm -hmm. You're going to fight over resources. Yeah. And then you're also going to ethnically cleanse to purify your little area. The so government will fund one. I'm sure the government will fund one more than the other. E exactly. Yeah. And, and so what they did is they did this to enrich the Tigray region, but they didn't even give that money to the average Tigrayan peasant. Like I said, 1.5 million people were on food aid, even though they, they stole 30 billion over a 10 year period. God knows how much throughout the entire their entire reign. So what I'm saying is that basically you have people who have looted the country, who do not represent the people, who uh, have almost destroyed that country, but it's like a godsend. Prime Minister Abiy has risen. The people are behind him with these attacks on, to, on uh, the Northern Command. Like they, 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 they stopped that immediately. And within three weeks, we're able to defeat it. And honestly, this is like one of the greatest victor victories, I think, you know, in this in my generation, like it came out of nowhere. The peace that was the peace deal with Eritrea, with Somalia, um, the change that's happening right now. There's a there's a feeling of like we're 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 gonna make it. We're gonna make it out of this horrible situation that we've been in for. So so long.